See, in fact, a country like India, uh, we have 22 official languages and more than 100 dialects. 22 official languages. So the need for India, because if you want the uh, effect of internet to touch upon everyone and change their lives, because in India, whoever has used internet is gone hooked onto it. There's not a single person who said, I've used internet, I will not use internet anymore. They said they want to use it more and more. In my point of view, uh, we have a good access to, to internet and everybody can have their own idea and send his own idea to internet. Also, we have some restrictions about some subjects. Uh, for example, pornography is prohibited in our country because of the, our culture. But normally, the access to internet is free and everybody can use it. We are denouncing 15 enemies of the internet, 15 countries where cyber dissident bloggers are jailed, harassed all the time, where the internet is censored where you can't have access to, to independent information. And the very country which we mentioned in our report, the 15 enemies of the internet, they're here. They're at the WSIS, talking about internet governance, talking about how we should rule the internet, and, and talking even about freedom of expression. And we don't believe it's right. We don't think that Cuba or Iran or, or North Korea or Libya should should, should be able to talk about freedom of expression as if they respect it. With assistance from cooperating partners, we have trained some of... And you know, this, the phase, this phase is now... Uh, we have uh, reached a conclusion on the principle of the uh, so-called internet governance, how the internet should be managed. Uh, we did a lot of uh, commitment uh, by political leaders uh, to establish the information society, to close the data divide. So we are very happy.